Dun dun. Good afternoon. Oh, sorry. Good evening. Our lovely audience and friends all over the world. This is episode 40 of 41. 41 of Figure Talk by Brian No. Yeah, I'm from Toys TV platform. Uh, you could subscribe our um, Toys TV channel at YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Uh, T O Y S T V H K. Yeah. And this episode is regarding Boss Fire Studio figures. And um, this is regarding two different figures from their series Retrophian Hacks. Orc Conqueror, Surface Warrior, and also Light of Asperity, Chose Agent. Uh, how comes I to try to introduce two in one program? Yeah, they already released a lot of different version of figures, so I have to do it uh, as much as I can. So I, I, I prefer to do this two. Uh, I think uh, the two I, I, I prefer of the two I think uh, I like most. So this is two figures in hand and and before I introduce I show you a very interesting uh, scenario and diorama you can see a lot of yeah that is Boss Fire Studio yeah that is their released released figures so I think it's already exceed 30 or 40 different style of this series and um, yeah Many of them uh, have little similarity because they share the same weapons or they share the same helmets, armors or different parts. But altogether they assemble different style of figures. You can see lots of Greek like warriors, school like warriors, um, you know knights, magician, orc. different all different style so I go back to the the focal point of these two figures this episode this episode won't be too long because I have to make it within within uh, 15 minutes yeah so this is the first one yeah this is the light of asperity Charles agents so this one is the most one of the most popular figures from the series and we can see many of the customers uh, trying to buy this because you know what you know why because it, it included I think is at least two helmets one like a Roman style one this one Roman style and this is like a you know uh, sci science fiction style or fantasy style and um, I have a school hat and uh, but a very medieval kind of armors. They are very smart and clever to to have a mix and match of this different film or different era armors and weapons. And when it dress up, it's like that. So the articulation of this series, I think, it has no problem. Uh, not too tight or not too loose and you can mix and match with different different style or different accessories you know maybe maybe many of our audience is not so interested in this you know one I think one to 18 scale figures but this is a cool collection and this is you know less costly it is cost about you 200 Hong Kong dollars or like maybe 25 US dollars each but have a lot of different possibility yeah. I stopped trying to do this yeah and we can mix and match with different different accessories yes so 
The painting job is well done. Not look plastic like. For this small scale, I think they did a really good job on the painting. And each figure have a stand, so they can stand alone firmly. And this is the helmet, one of the helmets. Okay, I go to the second one. This episode is going to be short. The second one, the Orc Conqueror Savage Warrior. So I think you you guys know what is Orc, Orc means. It's from Lord of the Ring and many of other fantasy novels. Green colors races or green colors pieces. You have a show a lot of um, accessory, and you could see inside this package they have the same helmet. Yeah, I found that they have the same helmet of uh, of the Light of Asperity of the Charles agent same one this one same one so this is that's why I say boss fight studio are so smart and clever to do mix and match so they can do a lot of variety and at the same time they save the cost and the customers can have a lot of uh, possibilities and a lot of uh, you know lots of fun when they compile and combine different package in one one figures another one look like a gorilla and the third one yeah so all together one two three three helmet it a special orc head it's different the one on the body is with beat this one have no beat so if you if you want to make an orc army you can buy maybe two or three same two or three of the same set and um because you can mix and match at least two to three different or com conquerors yeah so two two figures two hats three helmets you know a lot of weapons shields i you know the big hammer the big hammer this is a face warrior i think it's a regarding for for 25 us dollar it is quite worth the price you know a good painting good structures and good articulations a lot of combinations yeah and each series contain of at least eight different figures and these eight different figures they can combine or they can into different uh, mix and match so you might you might make more than 64 or maybe at least 30 or 40 different style of warriors with with your collections so this is how boss fight studio working so yeah and uh, I think I, 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 yeah, regarding this, Chose Agents Light of Asperity, there is also an extra head. So each of these two figure set, including two different heads, more than two helmets, different helmets. I think this is the other one. That this part can be can be combined with another parts, so makes different helmets. Lots of varieties. Average pies. Lots of combinations, possibilities, lots of characters. Yeah, people start collecting this kind of, you know, figures, small scale figures. Yeah, when they think that the big scale one is too large or too too, and and uh, and um, uh, occupy too much spaces. Anyway, that's all. That's all for this episode 40, 41 Figure Talk. Uh, by Brian o, and thanks for watching this episode. I think this episode could be simply and straightforward for a small girl figures. And stay tuned for more exciting figures tomorrow. I'm sure I have some exciting stuff to show you to tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Lots of them. So stay tuned and stick to Figure Talk. Subscribe our channel, Twice TV, and Brian o. Uh Yeah, thanks for watching. Pick a talk. See you. Bye bye.